This sound created by Tobias Menguser, aka 10 Phantom Rooms, is kind of an exception in this playlist because it does not use virtual analog waveforms, you know, sine waves, sawtooth, square waves, etc. of the old analog sense. Instead, it uses samples of recorded instruments. Engine 1 uses a classic guitar C note. And Engine 2 uses another C note recorded from a Japanese koto instrument. Not only these two sounds give the preset its body, but they also make its attack sound more natural. To make it non-repetitive, it uses a pseudo-random function, so that the attack does not sound the same every time. You can achieve that by using this random1 function here to decide on the position where the sample will start to play. Originally, Tobias set it to the beginning of each sample, but in the case of the Kodo Engine 2 sample, I found it a bit aggressive, so I set the minimum playback start's position a few milliseconds later. Listen with the minimal position set to zero. And now set the start position a bit later. In this latter case, the attack is never aggressive, but it's up to you to decide whether you want it or not, of course. What I also find interesting in this sound is that it does not use much of the filtering and modulation features, at least by default, and thus creates a very distinctive natural bass sound that can be used for many different music genres. But if you're looking for a more electronic sound, you can use its minimal glow pass filter and play with the cutoff frequency, resonance, frequency modulation and drive using, for instance, the macro knobs and the modulation wheel, as Tobias chose to do. Then you can apply the FX stage, of course. Here Tobias used some reverb, wavefolding, and equalization, plus some tape echo controlled by Macro Knob 4, and a compressor, of course. And of course, you can also play with VC envelope and the zillions other modulations available in pigments. And thus, this original simple sound becomes a source of inspiration with an infinite number of possible variations, as it's the case for almost all the sounds we've seen in this video playlist. That's the beauty of music synthesis, of course, uh, where you can fine tune your own instrument and become like a modern violin or cello or guitar maker. Well, sort of. Ha, ha, ha.